Is tobacco going to pot? The Altria Group, the company that makes Marlboro and used to be called Philip Morris Company, just bought a 45% stake in a company called Cronus, a cannabis firm out of Canada. Is this a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Stick around. Let's talk about it. When I was a young fella, I worked for a tobacco wholesaler and I uh, called on restaurants, grocery stores, drug stores, different types of stores, and I sold tobacco to them. Never thought anything about it in those days because tobacco, cigarettes, was so mainstream. You know, there was an ashtray in every house and everybody smoked. Uh, you smoked in somebody's house, you smoked on airplanes, you smoked in cars. It was just very prevalent. Well, today, smoking is taboo, and evidently, Philip Morris is seeing declining sales of tobacco, and so they have purchased an interest in, a huge interest, 45% in this company in Canada, uh, evidently thinking that drugs or, or cannabis is going to be legalized, or marijuana is going to be legalized in America. Now, let me ask you. What do you think? I mean, most people, when they talk about being addicted to drugs, say, I started with marijuana. Is marijuana or cannabis an entry-level drug? Because somebody smokes marijuana, does that mean that they're going to, uh, you know, get addicted to opioids? Or is it good as a medicine? You know, historical references as far back as 2900 BC uh, show that people were using uh, cannabis uh, as a medication. Uh, many people think that even in 1400 BC in the Old Testament, uh, in the book of Exodus, that anointing, an, an anointing oil used cannabis, and many Bible scholars look at that term and say, yes, Cannabis was a part of an anointing oil. Now, I'm not saying it was, or I'm not saying it wasn't. I'm just saying that many people say that it was. It was used as a medicine throughout America, uh, you know, in the 18 and 1900s until the 1920s when it was outlawed. I, I didn't realize this, but if you'll go back and look at uh, old... Uh, you know, concoctions, old remedies. Marijuana was in almost everything in the 1800s, in 19, early 1900s in America. So, is marijuana good as a medicine? You know, it was outlawed uh, mainly because most drug companies couldn't patent it. Now, I'm not sitting here saying that it's a good thing. I'm asking you, write your thoughts below. Tell me what you think about medical marijuana and about marijuana being legalized throughout America. Now, our ministry is all about helping people overcome addiction, and we've posted many videos here on our YouTube channel with testimonies of men and women who have overcome addiction, drug and alcohol addiction. If you want to see more videos like that, please subscribe to our channel. And if you or a friend or a loved one are struggling with addiction, I would invite you to go to our website, addictionknockout.com, where we have some resources there to help you.